from Tajikistan uh, flows about 60% of uh, water which comes to the to two biggest rivers in uh, uh, Central Asia, to Amudarya and Sildarya. So uh, the problem is uh, the using of this water. Uh, because uh, the, in uh, Central Asia uh, we have a very interesting situation that uh, upstream countries like Tajikistan and our neighbors Kyrgyzstan uh, have uh, a lot of water. But uh, downstream countries, uh, uh, they have a big need to, to water because of uh, their agricultural, uh, uh, agricultural uh, uh, works. In, in these times also we have the bilateral agree agreements and multilateral agreements about the exchange of uh, water and of uh, uh, water in, in Central Asia. But uh, uh, we have not, uh, the, we have not uh, uh, working, uh, working agreements uh, about uh, uh, exchange of energy. And it uh, makes, uh, makes problems for us, uh, especially in winter time. Even uh, these days, uh, the, if you uh, uh, will uh, uh, ask uh, about the situation in, in Tajikistan, even in, in these uh, days we have uh, limitations of energy supply for the population uh, because of, uh, of uh, lack of uh, water in our reservoirs and, uh, and uh, because of lack of energy. So uh, it is a problem, a problem of uh, having, uh, having energy in winter time. Uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, raising of awareness of uh, the international community and uh, of uh, as as much as, as more people uh, about uh, the problems of uh, uh, water or, and energy in in Central Asia in particular, uh, it uh, it will help to uh, resolve uh, the situation because uh, the only way of resol resolution of the situation we see uh, only on uh, on dialogue between our countries. Uh, countries of the whole region and uh, the only the, through this dialogue, through uh, this uh, putting uh, all, all pros and cons about uh, our projects, about uh, all, our, uh, uh, all, all our concerns, uh, we can uh, find the resolution of uh, this, uh, this problem.